So it's the morning of uh, day four, Monday. And uh, got ourselves a really pretty place to camp and uh, loaded with uh, all kinds of neat features. And looking forward to another day as the sun comes up. So this is looking the other way. It's where we're heading into. We'll be driving through a more mountainous area today. Going through another pass. This is the reason for the massive amount of uh, life around here. This magnificent wind pump and uh, tank. And this is a absolute treasure. This is it. This is the magic. What makes the world go round? Water in the desert. If I was in charge of the, you know, California, Arizona, Nevada, I would put thousands and thousands and thousands of these setups everywhere. And it would just be amazing. The life, the recreation. It would just be amazing. Continuing down the uh, trail. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. To the left over here, you will see the uh, Sequoia Cactus protected. Yeah, no, it's like a, uh, it's like a safari. More spectacularness. Doesn't get a lot better than this. Incredible. That was cool. No problem. So we're through uh, Red Rock Pass. Oof. And heading down the other side. This has been a uh, rocky, difficult little section to negotiate, but uh, just gotta take your time. You gotta slow down, make it happen. Enjoying it more. So we're heading uh, Hoodoo Wash to go to an old settler's cabin. Pretty awesome. So there is this random structure here at the beginning of the Hoodoo Wash trail to the Hoodoo Wash cabin. Wow, it's got water and everything. Oh, there's a sign. I'm gonna read the sign. Apparently, this is another Hoodoo cabin because the Hoodoo cabin we were heading toward was, uh, or is, like an old rustic cabin. Uh, but it's quite a ways down the road from here. So, just doing a little exploration. <laughs> I don't know why somebody didn't shut the door when they were here. But this is awesome. Much nicer than the cabin we were at before. Much nicer. And, uh, I mean, wow, I would stay here. Pretty cool. Ooh, ow. Now, does it actually have running water? I doubt it. No, it does not. It did at one time. We are out in the middle of nowhere, too. Pretty cool. Uh, yeah, somebody, yeah, you know, people, people are gross. All right.
Yeah, it's good stuff. Somebody welded into it, uh, Kofa National Wildlife Reserve. Oh, I would, I would come out here like in January or February. So we got a well and a wind pump and a kind of cool looking cabin that's very nicely taken care of. May have to come back someday. So uh, this cabin is set up so you can hoist the whole sides up and there's screen mesh. So on uh, warm days, you can have it basically just open to the breezes. Ah! I didn't even read this first. It's the Hoodoo Hilton. I saw you were reading the 1-800 number. Pretty cool. Heading down Hoodoo Wash. Yeah, I wonder if I'm gonna hit that. Let me close. Yeah. Oh, nope. Don't even think my air conditioner hit it. Well, finally, after uh, a lot of... Uh, I don't like that rock. A lot of uh, driving on narrow roads, I'm actually in the Hoodoo Wash. So just another uh, seven miles and be at the cabin. One hour later, or it seems like it, this is quite the slog up this wash. This cabin better be magnificent. This is quite the adventure. Oh, dropping back in the wash. Well, so that's my big view of the outside of the wash world. Back in the wash we go. <laughs> Looks like we got us another wind pump and tank. We'll have to take a look at that on the way back down. We're too close to the cabin to stop now. But uh, yeah, cool. All right, so I missed this coming from the other way. Came back to it. Oh yeah, just grinding through the trees. And I've got my rear end locked, so it's scrubbing. Very nice, made it, yay. So here's the cabin, man. Talk about living back in the back country. So I see they've maintained the uh, wind pump for a game and got some cool stuff here. This is the Will, back, Will Banks cabin. And what a place to live back then. Talk about the middle of absolutely nowhere. Wow. He was near, this guy was from Payson? He was oh, he's born, born near Payson. on the cattle ranch near Payson, Arizona. Oh, well, he was a rugged dude coming out here. I mean, this is the ass end of nowhere. God, I can't imagine that. Uh, when was the last entry of somebody that either visited or stayed here? You were just looking for today. So they got a story of the cabin. And you can sit on the porch of the cabin and listen to the quail. What an awesome place. There's a big wind pump here with a tank. I want to see where the, uh, the tank goes to for the animals, presumably. I'm walking up on the tank. The dove are scattering left and right. And the quail are alarm calling. 
Let's check it out. Full of water, no doubt. The wind pump's working. Yep. Very nice. Tasty, tasty water. A little ramp for the quail and the doves. And there you have it. So the uh, cabin has a book with uh, all kinds, well it has a log book too, but it has all kinds of pictures and the whole story of Jack and Martha Wilbanks who used to live here. And uh, pretty amazing. Uh, just story after story of a very, uh, very interesting guy. Good stuff. We're leaving the cabin behind, heading back down the long wash. Downhill is always better, easier, better views. Heading toward the Engrisser Pass. Uh, not as exciting terrain as we've been through today, but yeah, it's all part of the journey. Been working hard last couple hours, uh, driving at and beyond the limit of what I should even consider doing in this rig. But so far I've made it. But it's been the sweatiest last couple hours or hour and a half or whatever of my life. Kind of an interesting uh, plateau here. This white rock contrasting to all the uh, regular uh, rock in the distance. Almost uh, to the Engresser Pass or at least to the road to the pass. Uh, been a long day. Been a really fun day and a really stressful day. But uh, day ain't over yet. I'm calling this hill uh, to the east of our camp, Cavalry, because there's three crosses on it, actually three saguaros. That looks cool. Well, it's the end of uh, day four, and we're camped out here at the Engresser Pass, and waiting for uh, yeah tomorrow for more adventure. Today was a long, difficult day, and uh, we're both exhausted. I've been. Uh, <laughs> running on adrenaline and terror for uh, all afternoon just taking that camper on uh, Jeep trails that uh, has no business being on. Uh, sleep good tonight and uh, eat good tonight. So, yeah. Having fun isn't for sissies. It's hard to do. After a harrowing if not death-defying uh, uh, day today. Feels really good to be home here in the white of morn. Making Sylvia hot linguisa sausage with pepper jack and uh, cornbread. And I might throw in some uh, other stuff. Looking good, man. I'm making uh, Portuguese sausages, linguiça, with uh, hash browns, and I'll probably have some cornbread too, because <laughs> why wouldn't I? Our fire's been trying to kill us. These uh, igneous rocks you'd think wouldn't explode, since, I mean, they came from a volcano, but they've been exploding. So ended day four. Another wonderful day. And looking forward to uh, an even better day tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.